Hi, and welcome to your GFP Global Field Program Master's Cohort. I'm Jamie Burka Anzano, and I'm Director of Communications and Research here at Dragonfly. I'm also one of the advisors for the Master's Program, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about the Master's Cohort. Um, I thought I'd do that first, to tell you about the cohort, and then also tell you a little bit about the history of Dragonfly and where we came from, uh, how we came to be here. Um, so what we're going to talk about a little bit is, again, the cohort and what's in it. Um, we're going to do some administrative stuff in this program cohort. We won't actually have any assignments here in the cohort. Uh, assignments and projects um, will take place in other workshops online, um, but some we'll, we'll do some administrative things here. Uh, we'll also connect with a whole all of your peers in the master's cohort. When you scroll down through the classroom of the cohort, you'll see uh, a whole bunch of folks, um, and those are all of the students entering the 2013 cohort this year. So we'll have lots of connecting with peers here in the cohort. And we'll also think about sort of the big picture of your master's experience and what we call, uh, you'll be submitting something called a master plan, thinking about and talking about it this summer in the field um, and submitting a map, what's called a master plan in January. So we've got some time to think about it, but we'll be submitting that master plan here in the cohort. So we'll be talking about sort of those big picture, all encompassing ideas. What, it, what do you want to get out of your master's experience? And those documents will be submitted here and we'll do peer review uh, and discussion here in, in the master's cohort. So general information, administrative information, and then um, uh, the master's cohort ideas, and also you'll submit the, your graduation requirements here, your ultimate culminating uh, requirements for graduating from the program here in the master's cohort. So that gives you a little bit of the rundown of what, what the master's cohort uh, entails. And um, I just wanted to provide you with a little bit of the background and history behind uh, what Project Dragonfly is. So back in the mid-1990s, we began as a children's science magazine funded by the National Science Teachers Association, NSTA, and created here at Miami University. And it was the first time that at a national level, children's investigations, children's questions, were placed on equal footing with adult researchers and scientists' investigations. So putting those together in a national publication really gave um, vo children voice and allowed them uh, to talk about their ideas and their questions about their world um, in, a, in a very valid way. Um, for example, one of the issues of Dragonfly, I have a couple of copies here. This one was called Protecting the Planet. Very cool. Um, this one was all about water. Get wet, dragonfly. Just a couple of examples. But we also uh, did an issue all about tools. And there was a 12-year-old girl whose name was Alexia Gorey. And she invented um, something she called the Easy Eater, which it was a spoon with an aspirator and sort of a contraption thing that allowed her to keep her cereal dry when she was eating it in the morning. So it kept her cereal from getting soggy. So she invented this very cool tool. And in the same tool magazine, magazine about tools, was Jane Goodall, who uh, obviously world-renowned primatologist and was the first person to um, see chimpanzees using tools uh, in the wild. So um, that was the idea behind Dragonfly Magazine. Really, uh, it's all about voice. And that idea has really carried through um, everything that we have done since that, um, since that National Science Foundation grant that funded the original magazine. In the later 1990s, we began Dragonfly Workshops, which were a graduate program, which was a graduate, a suite of graduate credit classes, primarily for educators, and it occurred entirely online. And what we found from that had a great experience there. Um, you will actually experience the uh, online web-based learning community. You'll become well familiar with it. It's what you're using now as part of this cohort and what you'll use as part of uh, all of your classes um, for the web-based experience. Um, but what we learned there was that we really liked sort of a hybrid model. We liked online learning with face-to-face -face learning and found that the combination of the two was really, really great and something that we wanted to promote and, and be a part of. So we created Earth Expeditions. Uh, you'll all be going on an Earth Expedition this summer, of course, um, to Baja or Belize uh, as your first, first year class. And um, so that hybrid model, placing uh, web-based learning and 
face-to-face uh, -face learning together um, was something that we really wanted to do and accomplish. Um, so we, again, created Earth Expeditions. Um, Earth Expeditions has now turned into what you guys are experience, experiencing, um, the Global Field Program and what's also called the Advanced Inquiry Program, but a master's program from Miami University. And um, because of the success of Earth Expeditions, we've been able to grow this program. We have lots of students now, and uh, we're still growing. So um, uh, that's a little bit about where the master's program came from. We also have other projects that we work on with a consortium of zoos throughout the country. It's called I Save Species to engage uh, the zoo public. Um, on zoo grounds in science and conservation action. So that's another one, another project that we do that you, you'll probably hear about um, throughout your master's experience here and there. Um, so that's a little bit about the history. Um, let's see, what else did I want to do? Um, so what, another idea that I wanted to um, uh, sort of let you guys know about is the idea of the support of Miami University. All, all of these, you know, years, um, projects and work and research uh, with all of these wonderful individuals and great national organizations has, have come together to um, allow us to produce this incredible master's program of which you guys are a part. So um, uh, all with the backing of Miami University, uh, our, our home institution, and um, they have really put their um, backing behind this entire endeavor. So as a part of this experience, um, and your degree from Miami University, know that, know that a whole lot of background and research and support is coming from all kinds of um, spaces for you guys. Um, so we think that this is gonna be uh, uh, challenging work for you, uh, potentially hard work at times, um, maybe probably challenging to fit into what we know is an already very busy schedule and personal and professional life that each of you has. Um, so that might be challenging, but know um, that we are here to support you. Uh, you can do this. It's a really great program, and we're so excited to have you guys here and begin this journey with you. So welcome again to the, to the Global Field Program Master's Cohort, and uh, read, all your, read all the following assignments, and we'll get started.